Hi, this is Steve from MixMedics.com. In this video, we're going to look at using sidechain compression to stop a delay from overwhelming your lead vocal track. Now, I've got a vocal here with some reverb and some delay on it. The reverb's good, but the delay's a little bit overpowering. When the vocal's actually singing, the delay's sort of getting jumbled up. It means we can't really hear what's going on. Let's take a listen. Push me, pull me the way that you want to go Till I pick my moment, turning the tables, taking control Now the sound of the delay is good at the end of the phrases but while the singer's actually singing it's getting a bit too much Now if I add in a compressor we can keep that under control Push me, pull me the way that you want to go so I pick my moment, turning the tables, taking control. Yo, yo. Now what's happening there is the compressor set up with a side chain from the actual vocal. So rather than the compressor listening to the delays, it's being told to turn down when the vocal's singing. Therefore the delay is turned down when the vocals are on and it's brought back up when the vocals stop singing. Let me show you how to set that up now. So the setup of this session has the vocal here on this track with various EQs and compressors. Bus 1 is an aux send to a reverb, and bus 5 is an aux send to our delay. Now the delay is also going to bus 1, so I'm adding some reverb to the delay as well. I'm going to turn these reverb sends off so that we just hear the vocal and the delay without the sidechain compression. Push me, pull me the way that you want to go. So we're back to that jumbled sound again. Let's add in a compressor. And I'm just going to go for Logic's built-in one. Now, let's have a listen to what it sounds like with the default setting. Push, Push me, 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 the way, the way that you want to go. go. Now, what's happening there is the compressor is listening to the delays and it's compressing the sound as it comes in. But it's still a bit jumbled. So what we want to do is add in our side chain. So in the top right hand corner, we choose the track that contains our lead vocal. Let's have another listen. Push me, pull me, the way that you want to go. Now you can hear there the delay did raise a bit at the end of the phrase, but it's still not enough. Now the first thing I want to do is turn off auto gain. Auto gain brings the level of the compressor up automatically as close as it can get to zero dB. That's making the delays a little loud for my ear. So I'm going to turn that off so that I can control the output level with the makeup gain. Let's have another listen. Push me, pull me, the way that you want to go. Okay, that's starting to sound a bit better. I'm just going to try playing with the threshold now. I'm going to drop that down a little bit. And I'm also going to turn up the ratio so I turn my delays down even more. Push me, pull me, the way that you want to go. So there you can hear the delays are starting to turn down when the vocal's singing and come up again at the end of the phrase. I'm going to turn the attack right down because I want the, the delays to be grabbed instantly. I'm also going to play with the release time. A really long release is going to sound like this. Push me, pull me, the way that you want to go. There you can see the needle takes a long time to return back to zero, so it's not really giving that, us that effect of boosting the delay at the end of the phrase. So let's make that delay release time a lot quicker. Push me, pull me, the way that you want to go. So there you can hear, because the release time's quicker, at the end of the phrase, the compressor's turned back up to zero, and we hear the, the boost at the end of the delay phrase. So there you have it, that's using sidechain compression to keep a delay under control. Now you don't have to use this just for delay, you can use it on reverb returns as well, so that the reverb is turned down when the vocal is on and it swells up at the end of the phrase. Again, this doesn't have to be used purely on vocals, it can be used on any instrument as well. If you need to perfect any stage of your production or mixing process, book an online session at mixmedics.com. We use a combination of screen sharing and a high quality audio link to enable us to hear exactly what's coming out of your studio in real time from anywhere in the world. 
You can have an experienced audio professional advise you one-to-one every step of the way at MixMedics.com. Mix, mix, mix.